Hey Scorpios, welcome back. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot. All right, so let's get into this channel message reading, everyone. Remember to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Spirit, angels, gods, divine ancestors. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Please protect my energy as I open this portal. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Return any dark forces, low vibrational energies, karmic energies, negative energy, monitoring spirits offline and online that's here to disturb me. The reading asks that you return the energy back to its rightful owner and sender tenfold. So more to be, I say, I say. Archangel Michael asks that you come forward to shield and protect me as I tap into the spiritual realm for this channel message reading for Scorpio. Please and thank you. I want to give honor to my ascended masters with their spiritual teachings that came before me, my own ancestors, my spirit guides, angels, and everyone that represent me in the spirit realm. Please step forward to assist me with clarifying these cards for the message of Scorpio. Channel message reading. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, so we have single. Okay, single. Some of you guys right now, you are single. This can also be someone that's in your energy or someone that you had some type of connection with. Someone is definitely single. Either way it goes, okay? Tell me about single. Not connected to anyone, not dealing with anyone, just enjoying their singlehood. All right, what is single? What is single? Okay. We have healing. Okay, so someone is choosing to heal as they're on their single journey. Okay, we also have an energetic message from someone that says, how can I change the way that you see me? So, I feel like you're the one that's single here, Scorpio. And I feel like you're refusing to date right now while you're in this single journey of your life where it's just you and God, you and your spirit guides, you're just focusing on yourself. You're going through a healing period as well. But there is someone that you were once with, friends with, whatever it can be, a relationship. It's like you're choosing to be single away from this person. It's like you don't want to have any connections with them. And maybe this is the person that calls you to be single. You know, sometimes we can have bad relationships that ended very horribly and it puts you in the mind state of not wanting to be in a relationship right now all right tell me about single for scorpio tell us about single spirit angels universe ancestors for scorpio channel message reading All right, clarify single. Oh, thank you. All right, so two of cups is in the reverse. And we also have the tower, Scorpio, Aries, Cancer, Venus, Mars placing with the two of cups. So, yeah. I feel like you're the one that's single, Scorpio. There definitely was a relationship, a bond that didn't work out in your favor. A lot of unexpected things may have happened, surprises, chaos, destruction, trauma that happened. You were in a connection with someone where it was a very unstable condition. Is I'm hearing the house was already broken. And some of you guys, it didn't even last till maybe up to two years, maybe. It wasn't a long time. But the bond broke it. Yeah. So that's why I say that you were the one that was single. Yeah. And ever since this fallout or this blow up may have happened, someone is wanting to know how can they change your view of them since this has happened. Tell me about healing. Clarify healing for Scorpio. also could be going through a spiritual awakening ever since this breakup separation you may have had with someone you went through a deep powerful spiritual awakening here yeah what is healing
Thank you. The Knight of Wands in the reverse. Sagittarius energy. What is healing? Thank you. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Hmm. So you're dealing, I heard wildcat just now. You're dealing with a, a person that you may see as a wildcat, a wild card, or you were dealing with that person. Things just didn't work out in this connection. Seems like this is someone who didn't put any effort into it. They made things complicated. Very reckless energy. This is what you're healing from. Yeah, kind of giving yourself this much needed break. Two of Wands, Seven of Wands, yeah. You're in that space of just, I'm here and leave me alone. Just leave me alone. This was a connection or a situation that was very off track, very off balance. There was very much lost energy. This person you may have dealt with was so afraid of the unknown, meaning not keeping themselves optimistic as to the future, taking risk in the connection. Someone here was afraid of that. They didn't even try to make the effort to keep an open mind, I should say. Yeah. And there, from that point of view, this is causing, or this did cause a lot of obstacles, a lot of challenges. Because it's it's hurtful and it makes the relationship unbalanced when one person is an open-minded op optimistic person and we have one person that's in fear don't want to change or transform so yeah if you are deciding to just focus on you the love that you gave to this individual you're giving it back to yourself your cup is closed it's closed for business you're not giving out love even though you are a sweet humble loving intuitive woman or man it's just right now you're loving on yourself Pouring into your own cup. The Queen of Cups. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to reconnect with this individual because you feel as though they're too weak. They're too vulnerable. A coward energy. They fall for anything. You're no longer giving them the opportunity to prove themselves to you. You're no longer interested in giving that offer. Because this is someone that... I'm feeling like they didn't fight for you. Yeah. Mm. All right. So tell me about how can I change the way you see me? So this is your past person here. Their energy. They wanted to know how can they change the way you see them, the way you view them. Tell me more about this, spirit. So it could have been a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Thank you. Ooh, King of Swords in the reverse, Aquarius. Libra, Taurus energy with the Empress. Ooh. Oh, wow. Two karmic energy here. Male and female energy. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this seems like someone just left you out in the cold here, Scorpio. Left you for dead almost. Someone was giving their time and energy and not pouring into this relationship because it seemed like someone chose to not be honest and straightforward with you about maybe a baby mama or some type of female energy here that's in their life that may have influenced them. Could even be their own mother. But this person is wanting to know how can they change how you see me, but they're still showing up as a karmic energy. They were wild, reckless. They told lies. They abused their position, abused their power. Yeah. Mm. I'm hearing mama's boy. Someone could have been a mama's boy or a female that just hung around the wrong type of women, was influenced by the wrong type of women. Or if this is a guy, he had a karmic mother, you know, or sister, whoever raised him. Or this can even be a third party. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Tell me about the two of cups and single. What happened here? What caused the breakup spirit? 
for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Take what resonates with you. Leave the rest for someone else's clarity. Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this is over. The world card, yeah. This chapter is closed. The doors are closed. You're choosing to be single after this breakup. I'm hearing distance. Like you may be keeping your distance from this person as well. Because they broke your heart, they shattered you, made you cry, disappointed you in the worst way when it came to this relationship or this marriage, family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like someone left you for dead. They chose a third party. And this empress could definitely be the third party. Yeah. All right, what is the tower? What happened here, Spirit? What is the tower when it comes to single for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Thank you. Yeah, the strength card in the reverse, Leo. So Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus. So fixed signs are here. This could be another fixed sign individual or Sagittarius, like I said. But Eight of Swords, Page of Swords, the Devil. Hmm. I feel like you found out that someone couldn't control themselves. Again, very weak, very vulnerable, too open to others, don't know how to stand their ground. They're not resilient. They're, it's like someone is an easy access. Things bowled up to the surface. Yeah. What is the Knight of Wands? And the reverse in healing. Hmm. I don't know why I'm hearing Leo. Someone here is a Leo. What is the Knight of Wands and healing? Knight of Wands in the reverse. powerful cars coming out here so the start in the reverse so we have one two three four five six major arcanas and one minor wow this is so serious here you just lost all faith all hope in your person and this is what you're healing from being disappointed in love when you thought it was going to last this bond this connection it all came crumbling down realizing that I was a part of a shit show of someone who couldn't keep it together keep keep their pants up and not down you know someone who tells lies that's not keeping it real with me and with this person asking how can I how can they change the way that you see them from what I'm seeing that's going to be kind of hard yeah if you just didn't care about Scorpio's feelings or how whatever you may have done would affect them that's gonna be hard. It is. You lost everything. You didn't. You're not believing in them anymore. They're a complete disappointment to you. Yeah. Nine of Wands. King of Cups. Yeah. Emperor in the reverse as well. Jeez. Yeah. This is a karmic. The truth came out about this individual. They were very either emotionally manipulative, emotionally unavailable, or they just was very very much a karmic that you were dealing with you may have not known at that time what a karmic meant or you know whether they were a karmic or not but you definitely gave up on this person when you found out whatever secrets that they've been keeping away from you yeah could be another scorpio who knows you yeah, have kind of a narcissistic vibe someone who has mommy daddy issues the emperor empress in a reverse here wow they may have not had their father or mother in their life or their parents were very karmic and it got passed down to them. But because they didn't take action, they didn't prove to you that, hey, I do want to talk it out. I want to prove myself. You're just throwing the towel. And you gave up on this person and you just moved on and realized there's no future here in this connection. There's a separation. We don't mesh well. We're not the yin to the yang. At least, you know, you're basically a false twin flame to me. You're not willing to fight anymore. 
you're not they've already it's like they proven what you already felt Pro basically proving you um that you were right what's the eight of pentacles so aquarius energy here twice Leo is here twice um uh, taurus is here twice so yeah and scorpio twice. so definitely could be another fixed sign what's the eight of pentacles in the reverse along with healing Seven of Swords also in the reverse. Wow. By them not making any difference or making changes or proving themselves to you or making any type of effort to change from that Knight of Wands in reverse to at least the upright, even though that's not great either, but making some type of effort, regardless, they're still in a negative energy, a negative light. And that's why they're asking, how can they change? Well, you see me because how things fell off, how things ended, it's a negative light. And just by them not showing you and proving to you or proving you wrong, that was your clarity. That was your truth. You didn't need to dig any further. They already proven themselves to you. So now is the opportunity. Hey, you know, now it's time for me to free myself. You're not doing the work. You're not putting it in. So there's nothing else I can do but just allow this chapter, this lesson to close. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely was dealing with the karmic here. A heavy masculine, earth sign, water sign, or air. I'm getting more um, Capricorn here, Aquarius, and possibly another Scorpio, possibly. But you're blocking this individual. They bring too much issues, too much problems, too much challenges. This is not someone you can trust. You know, they don't provide for you. They don't make you feel like you can rely on them. They're not committed to anyone or anything you know yeah you already know the truth about who you're dealing with and this is what you're healing from any lie that you may have believed within yourself you're now getting clarity this is a failure it's not going to work no effort was put in you're still wild and reckless so it's best for me to single myself away from you and heal heal from this all right, so let's get to the final message. Of course, again, if you're resonating with this and this is your situation, of course, always comments down below. Share with anyone else that you feel may have experiences. What is the King of Swords in the reverse? Oh, thank you. Three of Wands. Wow. Mm. I mean, I'm feeling like this was a very hurtful breakup. They really, really disappointed you really really disappointed you with their abuse this could have been a manipulative person verbally aversive up uh, aversive <laughs> verbally abusive a liar you just don't see a future with this individual anymore all they gave you was breadcrumbs yeah they just disappointed you and trust me this person's going to get their justice their karma for how they treated you in this connection this is someone who never even possibly bring you flowers. You possibly never went out on a date or they just brought negative vibes to your life and you don't see anything. You're not looking forward to anything with this person. They really don't have much to offer you but breadcrumbs here. Queen of Swords, you're not dealing with anymore. You don't want them around you. You say what you need to say. You're using your law of discernment and just telling it what it is, you know? Mm-hmm. You're letting it go. Turning your back on and say, hey, enough is enough. I got to surrender for my highest good. And I'm going to have to be content with the decision that I make. Ten of Cups here. Again, like I said, it is what it is. I can't change what's already done. Because this is not going to move on. But to an extent, Scorpio, you may still have a lot of pain that you're currently still dealing with. You may have not completely moved on but you're single kind of like that energy is still harboring you in some way shape or form yeah all right so final message what's the empress in the reverse so let's see what this can be they didn't give you anything to have any hope for let's just say that <clears throat> What is the Empress in the reverse? And how can I change the way you see me? Who's this Empress in the reverse? Poor Scorpio. Thank you. Mm, 
Page of Pentacles. I'm hearing mama's boy. Someone hasn't really grown up yet. They haven't. They are very immature, emotionally unavailable. Mm. But they want to give you this offer. Like, I don't understand. They're giving you the bare minimum. Or they're wanting to give you the bare minimum. Yeah, this is someone who still has a lot to learn. A lot to learn. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. You gave up on this individual. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Someone here possibly barely have any income or they're not stable. This is why you don't want you don't want to have them back in your life anymore. You don't. And they're definitely stalking and watching. You know that they didn't put any effort. Know that they put you in a position where you don't care anymore. Neither one of you guys may have completely moved on, you know? Wow. All right, so yeah, someone here is a Taurus. Could be a third party, a mother figure, someone that's influencing them. Who never knows? This page of Pentacles could also be where, because you're not accepting their breadcrumbs, they gave it to a third party, this Empress in reverse. So this person could definitely, with the Nine of Pentacles, could not be single. They're dealing with someone, possibly. But they're emotionally manipulating that situation. But hey, the Empress in Reverse don't care because they don't have values and self-worth either, you know? Yeah. They're doing that because you gave up on them. You rejected them. <laughs> so they're like just dealing with anyone. A low vibrational karmic female or male. They accept the breadcrumb. They accept the bare minimum. So hey, it is what it is, right? I am seeing 88 here. Angel number. That may resonate for some of you. Um, I did see 22 earlier. Yeah. All right, guys. This is what I have. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you guys so much. Thumbs up. Comment below. And subscribe. And I will see you in the next reading. Bye-bye.